Hey, welcome back into today's video. Ed finally came back, shed a little bit of light on his behavior. There's an apology. We're going to check that out. Uh, Mars Argo to be in a 2019 film. And uh, let's let's just take a look at this uh, better help stuff. Uh, what's going on with that? All that and more today as the Rip reports. Okay, so uh, this is Etika's apology. He posted it on Reddit. After, if you're not familiar, the video is above. But he had this really strange happening where he just freaked out and nobody knew what was going on he ended up in a mental hospital and out of all that controversy he posted this his apology it says i know my first response was knee-jerk frustration at the idea that everyone literally thought i'd be taking myself out something happened to me but i want to tell you all this was not my intention at all and i'm sorry i'm sorry for worrying you all i'm sorry for making you all fear that i was suicidal I was being very metaphorical and crazy that night. I was having a lot of personal realizations, deep stuff, man. Regardless, I am now a changed person and I just needed an outlet to all my emotions. I know how unexpected and scary that might have looked for all of you considering the timing and all the factors that came into play. Some of these factors were planned, but many weren't. Planned? Was it an ARG that went wrong? I did not plan to use an ARG to feign suicidal thoughts and garner mass worry from people. So he didn't deny the fact that it was a planned ARG, but just to say he didn't plan to worry everyone from the ARG. This situation has been nothing but stressful for all involved and I'm prepared to accept all consequences. I know that many of you don't see me in the same light and you're completely right for it. What I did was wrong and sick and even though, never my intention, I should have thought twice behind my words before writing them down recklessly like that in such a way of course referring to his reddit post that read and now it's my turn to die i love you all now it does seem like the wordings of that uh i'll put the both reddit posts in the description below but it does seem like the wording of that was very suicidal it looks as if this was a planned arg or at least a planned uh, event that just went south but Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. And I also apologize to everyone who thought that I was going to be committing suicide. It was wrong, and I will never do anything as foolish as that again. I promise you all that. I assure you all that. I don't owe you a promise. I don't owe you guys any assurances, but I'm giving those to you as a man of my word to be honest and truthful with who I am from now on. And I hope you'll all be able to move forward with me in that same light, man. I don't know. You guys don't necessarily have to take the stance or the, uh, that I do, but I just hope that what I'm doing and saying today maybe inspires one of you guys to change up how you're living in terms of being honest with yourself and just not being ashamed of who you are. Claim who you are. Wear that shit like a fucking badge, man. Be proud of that shit, bro. Like, that's all you have. If no one else is proud of it but you, then that's fine, man. But who else is going to be proud of it if it isn't you? If so he apologized for it vocally. Now... Uh, those in the Etika community, I would, I really want to know in the comment section how you guys are feeling about this. Do you guys forgive him completely? Since we're going to be telling the truth here, I might as well tell y'all. My YouTube channel made zero money. Zero. Dogs. Nothing. Demonet between demonetization, between videos not being 10 minutes, every month in terms of ad revenue, my YouTube channel was pulling in less than $1,000. And we're talking 100 and almost 150 million views culminated over the last six years. Years. Only a thousand dollars from YouTube ad revenue, but you want to know what really made a lot of money? The the memberships, the 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 the, the, the donations, the sponsorships, the, the the money from the fucking fans, the the crowd funding, the viewers, the people who. Now I kind of I can see this, I can understand this because <clears throat> there was it was last month. Well, yeah, last month should have been like the most money I ever made on YouTube. But uh, because of the demonetizations, and it was it, it was a very hard month, and it was way less than nine hundred dollars. And uh, if it wasn't for channel members and now Patreons and just people that support me in donations, then I would really I wouldn't have been able to pay like any of my bills. And that's that's the solid truth. So this was some of the frustrations I guess that pushed him to his uh, uh, mental break. 
to delete the channel and start start a new rebrand it and fresh which doesn't that wasn't the intention from jump street okay i did not know i was going to be restarting everything but so it looks like he deleted his youtube channel because he did he felt like it just wasn't making enough money he wanted to start over fresh but it wasn't his intention to do all those other things i guess it was a sort of a plan thing uh that got out of hand and then the stress from it pushed him to something else there's a lot in the situation that we're not gonna know unless we are Etika himself. Over on the Redzilla Twitter, it says, Mars Argo to be in a 2019 film, can anyone confirm? Somebody sent me this uh, picture, it's from IMDB, and it says, Dinner in AM Sissy 2019. Her, I guess her character is going to be called, named Sissy, is that right? And it's scheduled for 2019 that's crazy when this was sent to me my first thoughts were great that she's getting work still but also that's not what her fans want her fans were wanting music with all this a uh, time that went in between originally and then she came back and then in her own words she said that there was new music coming we heard rumors of her and alice glass collabing we've not seen anything but, but to see uh, poppy and titanic sinclair release a successful album that's topping the charts uh and holding true to their words to their fans but she's not holding true to her fans it really makes me feel some type of way but i really want to know what you think about that just barely even a week and a half ago there was a lot of controversy with better help katie morton and all that stuff which i've heard nothing about it now we went through the lies surrounding better help katie morton and shane dawson which only got ten thousand views which is, which is astounding because the material that's in that video is insane if you haven't watched that video you need to watch it because it shows how uh creepy and just eerie the whole better help situation actually was for parties all involved it really makes me wonder since all the advertisers were involved in this better help scenario did they take videos that were exposing the truth behind it and push it under the rug that week i know it could it's not uh, possible for them to continuously do this all the time so if you haven't seen that better help video it is going to be in the description below and you do need to watch it now i did a video yesterday called i don't get to do this enough i guess notifications didn't go out or something because we it's only 814 views so a lot of people just did not get it so i also put that in the description below watch that it was a little special message that i sent straight to you guys and uh that's it for today's video but as interesting as it was there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and put your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for this like as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video i gotta go to a doctor's appointment here in like an hour and a half so i'm hoping i can get this uh editing done get this video back we got a new patreon if you haven't seen the patreon even if you haven't seen it you don't have to uh pledge but please check it out i'm going to be doing a lot of cool things in there we've met a lot of goals and i would really appreciate it so i know that you're ripping if you're not ripping your and how do you do that all you gotta do is subscribe to notifications turn on be in the comment section to every single video because i'm going to be there greg the cat's going to be there and spider's going to be there and I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Woo!